Hello everyone! Happy St. Patty's Day! If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining us today. My name is Tony Hunt. I thought we'd do something St. Patty's Day-ish today with art. I thought it would be a great opportunity to give my first impressions and overall thoughts about the Jack Richeson Earth Greens box. I got this. Actually, my husband bought it for me for my birthday, though he doesn't know. It'll be our little secret, though. Shh. Brand new boxes of pastels are fun to open for the first time, so I thought I would share this experience with you. Let's do it. Anyway, here in the U.S., I noticed we say pastels. If you're from the U.K., you say pastel. Da, 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 da. Aren't those gorgeous? Nothing like a fresh, pristine box of pastels. <laughs> I thought it would be fun because I did order these greens to fill in some gaps. I go through a lot of purples for shadows, and my next color I use the most are greens. And I use a lot of muted greens because I do landscapes mostly. I thought these would be very nice. You have cool, you have warm. These up here are really good for distance, trees in the distance. We go to a lake, which I like to do, landscapes and some lake water. And our lake water is actually, it's not blue, it's a greenish color. So I thought maybe these might be good for that. Just very fun. So let me give you... A little rundown. So these pastels by Jack Richson, I think they've only been on the market for a couple of years, as far as I could tell. But he has something to do with Unison, and Unison is one of my favorite pastels, so I thought I'd give these a try. I assume they might be the same quality-ish. Um, I can't tell if he's just a distributor in the U.S. of Unison, because Unison was uh, first made in the U.K., so I couldn't tell if he just distributes them in the U.S. or if he's like a U.S. manufacturer. Because there's a lot of Unison pastels that say by Jack Richson. So I'm not really sure of the relationship there. If you know, comment down below. I'm really interested. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find too much. I know there's a connection. I just don't know if he's an owner, if he just manufactures or distributes. So let me know down below if you know. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a little swatch card so we can see what they look like. And then I'm going to compare some to other pastels in my collection and see what I think about them. Well, I hope everyone can see. I have my lights turned down because some of these colors were hard to um, see in my viewfinder. So I did a quick swatch of all of these beautiful muted greens. Uh, on the back of this box, they had the numbers. Now, I will take all the labels off. That's why I made this little swatch card. In case I use up a color, I can buy, I can replace it. Yep, because I'm going to take these labels off for sure. I don't know if I'm going to put these in my main studio pastel box. It's pretty full. I might keep these in its box and just pull them out when I need certain greens. I know that people say you don't use pastels that you keep in the boxes, which I, I think is true, absolutely, unless you have like all of one certain color. Um, I have my Terry Lugwig, all my purples in a box. I do pull that out, so I actually pull that little box out when I know I need purples. So there's that. So I might leave these in the box. Time will tell. Time will tell. So as I said before, we have a very nice selection of warms, cools, muteds. These are not the bright grass greens that that you may be looking for. These are those muted colors, those uh, maybe underpainting colors. These are the ones that I really needed in my pastel collection. I'm pretty happy with the color selection we got. I'm, I'm pretty excited. We got these wonderful khaki colors. Uh, this is almost a greenish cream a darker khaki, a lighter khaki, yellow brown. Ah, wonderful colors. <laughs> I'm pretty excited by greens. Like I said, they're second most used to my purples. I am going to set these to the side and do some comparisons because I'm very curious of how these feel next to the Unison pastels I love so much. Um, and just for a base, uh, my workhorse pastel are Sennelier's. And then I have some Mangayo 
Rembrandt's New Pastels Schmincke. I think that's it. So, uh, yeah, those are the ones we'll be comparing today. All right, first one up is going to be Unison. I am always going to swatch the Jack Richardson on this side, the left, and then what we're comparing it to on the right. Now, what I did notice is we have almost spot on color matches for a lot of these. And I only had, like I said, I only had three or four Unisons, but I was able to find almost exact matches in this little set. All right, first up, this is the EG21. On that swatch, the Unison was, it was, this was softer, for sure. Let's do another color. I've also got some sanded paper here, just to compare. Okay, so here are our swatches. I mean, they both comparably laid down the color, but there was a definite distinction when you were um, laying the color down. On this sanded paper, I can really tell the difference. Am I getting off frame there? Okay. Yeah, now my first thoughts on that are the Unison are softer. I can't say that they're butter more buttery, but they are definitely softer. But color payoff, I'm going to say they're the same. So it really depends on what you like. I think there's a spot for every pastel in my collection. It just depends on what I'm doing. Next is the Snellier's. Here's that beautiful khaki color. This color is a little more grainy, isn't it? Oh, that one sounds grainy too. Hmm, wow. I'm not sure, let me. Hmm. Let's try it on this. be honest with you, I'm not sure if I could tell you a difference if you didn't tell me. I just picked up two different pastels. So far, these are almost the same. So if you like Snellier's, you're going to like these. I couldn't, yeah, if I didn't know which one I had picked up, I, I couldn't tell the difference, tell you the truth. So that's interesting. I didn't expect that. I expected these to be more like Unisons, but um, I really like Snellier's. I have the most of these. Next, we have the Mangayo. I have a limited color selection of that, so we're not going to have spot on matches. I think these are underrated. A lot of people don't talk about them, but I, I like them. I like them a lot. But I'm curious of how they're going to compare with these. I actually think they're going to be pretty close. Maybe not as much as the Snellier's, but um, I think they're going to be pretty comparable. Hmm. Or not. So on this pastel mat, the Mangayos aren't really doing that well. And it might just be the paper too, because I really usually like these, but on these swatches, they're just not doing that good. Let's do a little blend. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try this sanded paper.
Yeah, so the Mangayos, they perform a lot better on this sanded paper. Um, they're stiffer. They're, they're a lot harder pressed pastel. I don't know if these are hand rolled or not. I don't remember. They might be. But these are definitely a little harder consistency than the Jack Richardson's. I keep wanting to say rich in sun. It's just rich a uh, sun. Sorry. Well, I'm just making a mess of my swatch card, but what's new, right? I'm always making a mess. Okay, these are the Rembrandts. If you don't like the way they feel at first, I don't know if you can tell this, but on this whole side, I've actually put taken this to a little bit of sandpaper. If, I just don't like the uh, outside when I first get them. Like, I haven't done much with this. I usually don't sand them until I start using them. Uh, so if you if you don't think you like Rembrandt's, Take, a, take them to some sandpaper. You might like them a lot better after you get that like hard coating off the outside. It's not really a coating, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So I don't think these are going to be comparable, but I just wanted you to see the comparison of hardness. not uh, Rembrandts are definitely harder let's do a little swatch on this sanded paper so yes we can tell right off the bat that the Rembrandts are harder but it looks like on sanded paper they both have the same color payoff. So if you like the color payoff of Rembrandt's, these are comparable. Next comparison is with these new pastels, and these are extra hard. These are mainly I use for base layers, underpaintings, and maybe some scratchy details on top. But we're here, right? This is a popular color in this bunch, I've noticed. So here's that new pastel. Much harder, much harder. But you can at least tell comparison how much softer that is compared to these new pastels. It's a very pretty green on that black paper, isn't it? Last comparison are the Schmincke. These are so soft, like I, I rarely use them. If I do, it's just to put some accent marks, some super, super bright highlights on top of something. These are in my book almost too soft, but they have a use, as I say, with all pastels. I couldn't really find, let me get out two colors here. Yeah. This is super soft. I mean, you barely have to push and it's very, what you want to say, buttery. And we'll do a little... Barely touching that sanded paper with the schminka because it is so soft. Now I have to say these, I mean, they're soft, but they're not as soft as this. These are very comparable to the Snellier. So let me get this out. So after this is all said and done, I think that these are almost just like the Sennelier. I don't know what the cost difference is, if there is any at all. I will link where I got, I got this from Amazon down below. I couldn't tell you. I'm going to say they're probably about the same price, but I will have the information linked down below in case you're curious. I don't think you're going to be buying these to save money. If they're even cheaper at all, I don't know. But yeah, if you like Snellier, you're going to like these. That's the comparable softness and how they write on paper. I haven't done any paintings with them yet. Um, I'm, I'm expecting them to perform the same. Anyway, guys, happy St. Patty's Day. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've used these before and what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.